The Prince George's Hospital Center has moved nine babies out of its neonatal intensive care unit and into another hospital. The move comes after three infants tested positive for a potentially deadly bacteria. WJZ is live now. Amy Yenzi has the latest on the investigation. Amy? Well, Denise, the babies that tested positive for this infection are not showing symptoms of illness, but the hospital isn't taking any chances. One of nine babies is transferred out of the neonatal care unit at Prince George's Hospital Center after three babies there test positive for Pseudomonas aeruginosa, a bacteria that can be deadly. Hospital officials say the three babies are not showing symptoms, but moved them and six other babies to another hospital. And this is out at an abundance of concern for safety. Pathologists are investigating two recent deaths of other babies in the same unit. To date, we have no data that says that there's relationship between the deaths of those infants, infants and this bacteria. Hospital officials believe the bacteria originated in water pipes. They stopped using tap water in the unit and are disinfecting the plumbing. Water quality experts are collecting samples to determine where the bacteria is coming from and how long it's been there. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 51,000 people in healthcare settings get infected with this bacteria every year. 13% of those cases are resistant to medication. 400 people die each year. The bacteria is common but can be harmful to vulnerable patients. The patients in the hospital who tend to get pseudomonas infections are those who are already very, very ill. Family members of newborns in other parts of the hospital are concerned. It worried me a lot. And hospital officials say so far there is no evidence that any other patients were exposed to this bacteria. The rest of the hospital is still open. Reporting live tonight, Amy NC, WJZ Eyewitness News. Denise, back to you. Thank you, Amy. Hospital guidelines call for NICU infants to only come in contact with sterile water. In other infection cases, the bacteria has spread on the hands of healthcare workers or by equipment that gets contaminated.